Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu salasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brother Gavin Roman. Again, we're taking your questions for my tazkiyah. Question today is interesting. Can a person use sexually explicit language during intercourse? If yes, can you provide evidence? Jazakallah khair. As I've come across this quote from Imam Suyuti, that the most pleasurable intercourse is the one with the most sexual explicit speech. Okay, so it's a very good question. In the hypersexualized society that we live in, of course, what's called dirty talk is talked about a lot. And people talk dirty on the street, people talk dirty in the bedroom, people talk dirty on social media. Um, you know, talking that way has become very popular for a lot of people. So the question is, first of all, let's deal with um, the issue of the quote of Imam Suyuti. A lot of them, there's been things that have been attributed to Imam Suyuti when it comes to issues of intimacy and so on. There's some difference of opinion. I cannot say whether that is correct or not. Even if it would be, that doesn't necessarily mean that is an evidence. But even so, what most likely would be mentioned or covered here would be that, for example, if a man and a woman sleep together, husband and wife, of course, for example, man can describe what he is doing or speak to her uh, in a way that he describes her body, that he talks about what he's doing to her, that he is basically um, describing those acts that he wants to do to her. So that's yeah, any permissible. As in, you're not talking about something haram, you're just describing to her. And it's known that the woman is very stimulated through hearing things. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said um, that send kisses or send messengers, kisses and words. So a lot of the ulama have interpreted this as like foreplay. Right? Because women, they like foreplay. It needs more for They need more foreplay. Uh, and so words are important. When you say things to women, they fantasize it. They believe it. They like it. So you work in the, the brain, basically. The brain, if anyone understands basic female psychology or sexuality, is that probably one of the most, if not the most important organ that is involved in intimacy for a woman is her mind. So if a, if a husband basically describes her and women like to feel attractive. So if a man says how much he's attracted to her, how much he's you know turned on by her, how her body looks like, and he describes it to her, this will increase her desire. Um, if he describes certain acts that he's doing to her while he's doing it, this is again between her and him only. Going outside of that realm, this is an issue of, uh, of debate, but most likely closer to the spirit of the deen is that they should never be speaking about something haram or something that is wrong because that can corrupt the mind. Especially again for the woman being so turned on by it, it can lead to more imagination and wanting more and more. And we've had issues from you know clients and so on. Um, the same thing that I said with, for example, toys, like sexual toys. That I was I made a live broadcast about it in a whole long discussion as to why they're haram because it can corrupt the woman very clearly so again can you use explicit language as i said you can say about what you're doing and describe and this and that um as for like very bad swear words and this and that this is something that we've asked about uh, it's and it's something that i cannot really answer right now but a, a man can say what he does and describe and be passionate and hot about it and it will affect the woman definitely in the mind when they are having intimacy. The problem is with a lot of people like they don't talk to their intimacy or they don't express their passion and love for each other so the intimacy sometimes becomes very dry and one of the problems in marriages and again keep in mind where you're living in in the society you're just if you're navigating within within the mubah territory it's fine you're living within a society that is so hypersexualized and everyone's affected by it. So if there's something that is halal to just imp um, improve the relationship and it's known that this is how the brain reacts, you're just going to stick to those within the limits, then inshallah, this is uh, permissible. And Allah knows best. Barakallahu feekum. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.